things um, that might be tropical diseases. Um, and with that, I will open it up to our friend Wendy, who will be uh, discussing about his work and experience in Ethiopia and not. And Wendy, if you actually want to start by introducing yourself, please. Thank you. This is Mr. Wanda Magen from Ethiopia. But today I'll be presenting actually a work I'm doing for consulting for visual diagnosis as, as a disclosure. It has nothing to do with my uh, base university, uh, Baghdad University. So, so the title of my presentation will be a hybrid approach of visual learning and clinical uh, support for improved diagnosis of NHD. Uh, this is uh, a project support by the United Foundation and uh, by uh, the visual diagnosis. Uh, the presentation outline will be, uh, I'll have some introduction about the company and the experience in uh, low risk setting and the, uh, the new project we are having and leveraging this, uh, the AI technology for uh, NTD. So just as introduction, uh, the Visual Diagnosis is uh, a company which has been working in the U.S. for the last at least 22 years. That means the company has uh, an experience of 22 years collecting images for skin diseases and other diseases, actually internal manifestation of, uh, or dermatological manifestation of uh, uh, internal medicine, ENT, and uh, the eye, ophthalmology, and others. So other results, uh, recent assessment has shown that actually it has been, has more than uh, 100,000 images. That's why it has been called the uh, world best created medical image library. And one interesting thing is, uh, you know that cutaneous pathology appears significantly different on uh, uh, skin tones as uh, a professor of dermatology, one thing which will fr frustrate me in uh, my teaching uh, residents is that when my resident comes with uh, the irritama, the word irritama or irritoderma, usually this is a manifestation you don't see in uh, dark skin individuals. And, and but if you see most of the classic uh, textbook of dermatology, that's actually the big presentation of most of inflammatory skin conditions. So as that means that mostly those uh, cutaneous presentation, they present differently in a different skin tone. So publication from 2020 from uh, the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology reported the assessment of eight commonly used uh, resources in dermatology. This has six textbooks and two web-based resources, and 65 conditions were selected for review. For each condition, image were categorized as a light skin, with, uh, to dark skin image, and with uh, the fish Patrick classification one to six, and they have looked into uh, the 15, around 15,000 uh, images. Surprisingly, the uh, published textbook, they are less representative for dark skin individual, less than 10% to have an image of dark skin individual. The online uh, resources, they have more of uh, white, uh, just dark skin, but the visual diagnosis has represented around 20. 8% of its images are uh, dark skin individual, and that makes it actually one of the leading skin color atlas. And the other thing is about uh, the, the app. It can be presented in uh, the mobile app, laptop, and tablets, and it's a smart search uh, for chief complaints, especially the diagnosis app can be uh, used in uh, the PC, mobile phone, and you can enter a chief complaint to search the diagnosis and also the recommendation and the, uh, the laboratory investigations, or you can uh, search on the diagnosis to look into the, uh, the recommendation, have a patient information sheet, plus also other pictures, similar pictures, or you can enter also uh, the drug reactions and so on. 
Then the other thing is the about the uh, custom patient specific diagnosis. On this app, one of the important thing is what we when you look at it, is you can uh, customize uh, your entry based on the patient demographic presentation. For example, if you uh, based on dark skin, white skin, the geographic distribution of diseases and patient. Uh, clinical presentation and configuration of the skin region and distribution of the skin region in the different uh, body parts. And what uh, we have found is the tool can also improve patient engagement and satisfaction, especially because it has a big, most of the disease has patient information sheets. Plus also it can show some patients on similar, it can show the patients on similar uh, skin diseases and it can support clinician and patients through the diagnostic journey by improving the patient satisfaction. So one of the projects uh, which was uh, almost in conclusion was the, uh, the mobile clinic and decision support limited resource located uh, in Botswana. In the last 20 years, visual diagnosis has been working based in US only, and recently they have uh, actually start to work in uh, some of African countries. In general, when we see the access, the front line of the healthcare system in Botswana often uh, consists of clinicians working in area with uh, reliable internet connections and with limited training dermatology and other specialties. So there is a lack of sufficient reference material that are available offline and easy access at the point of care. Uh, that can help with the diagnosis and management. So the solution which Visual Diagnosis has come so is uh, creating a mobile app which can work both online and offline for those health workers. And the key finding from this offline and online uh, decision uh, support system is that uh, in the end of the project, in the assessment, they found that around 95% of the Respondents say that visual diagnosis improves the ability to manage dermatological conditions. Around 89.5% uh, of uh, respondents say that the visual diagnosis improved their ability to make accurate diagnosis and has made their work easier. These are nurses and primary health uh, physicians. And the providers use visual diagnosis and educational tool also, both uh, for themselves and for patients also. And around 81% of uh, individuals use the visual diagnosis outside of work as a study so, uh, resource. And it has a resource actually about introduction in dermatologic diseases. And 84% of uh, say that the use of the uh, tool helped educate patients and build uh, patients' uh, trust. In general, from uh, what we have got, some of the comments from uh, the participant is visual diagnosis. That doesn't only give you the condition, it gets all the way to image and training, so you can really rely on it. It can, uh, I can recommend this around well, just 100%. Another new project which launched is uh, in uh, December 2022 is the one uh, visual diagnosis working with uh, the Indian NGO care and also with the Nigerian uh, partners on identifying skin diseases and uh, artificial intelligence. This project uh, is going on uh, in India, it's development of a prototype clinical decision support and surveillance tool focused on only post cancer dermatomyositis. So, using the uh, visual diagnosis tool uh, to remove uh, existing barriers by enabling healthcare workers to evaluate skill lesions and symptoms, understand the diagnosis possibilities, learn about the diseases, and obtain guidance on the next step for the clinical testing and treatment. From uh, the Nigerian uh, collaborators, what we are doing is the Nigerian collaborators are going to the field and we are uh, collecting images from patients actually and development of prototype clinical decision support and surveillance tool focused on image collection and machine learning algorithm analysis optimization for selection of NTD in Nigeria. The exception about this project is usually the images are collected by the patients themselves in their own smartphone. And mostly the quality of the image doesn't matter here. And this prototype 
clinical decision support system will identify representative images of uh, entities. We're working with seven entities, presentation and utilize this image to train the machine learning algorithm for image analysis to distinguish between entities and the entity uh, mimics. And in addition to this, we are collecting also images from different African countries and uh, Southeast Asia, improving the machine learning. So in conclusion, sorry, the project aims to meet the goal of the WHO Skin and the Mobile Apps by supporting broad differential diagnosis for primary health workers. Uh, this is because of the experience we have on other skin uh, diseases. And ultimately, this clinical decision support tool will be designed to be extensive, several fitting local epidemiology, supporting improved diagnosis in countries beyond Nigeria and India. This is all what I have. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wendy, and I think uh, it's so important as we think about Visual DX as one group, an app that's done such a great job with the machine learning and with really being interactive and being something so powerful um, in people's pockets. So I think so much overlap in terms of prior experience with apps and other apps that are being used um, and the algorithm that Visual DX uses, and it's just wonderful to see kind of spreading across other areas as well.